Hi guys, so it's been a whole freaking month since I've recorded and I feel so like, I don't know, it felt so weird to like not record for a full month, but long story short, my account had got terminated. I'll talk about it while I do my makeup. I'm just going to do just a little get ready with me. Um, I have some errands I need to do, so I was just going to record myself uh, doing my makeup and kind of tell you guys what happened so okay so yeah it's been really really weird um not having my account not being able to like even look at the subscriptions that I've had and things like that or make videos um so basically what happened is that I don't know my account got spammed and um, so they terminated it but I was just really confused because I mean it's not like I'm doing it so why is it terminated and so I, it took a month basically of talking to uh, like the YouTube help center and things like that you had to like fill out forms and honestly I didn't really think that I was getting it back I just kind of but I knew that I wanted to keep going until I got the definite no, like, you can't get your account back. And then, I don't know, it was just a lot of turnarounds, and I still had my other account that I used for school, and so I was very confused because in the email it was like, you know, you can't make any more videos on YouTube, like, you're banned, and you can't make another account. So I was like, okay, well, why is this account still open, and can I just upload through this account, and things like that. And so finally... Two nights ago, I got in touch with a lady, and um, so I kind of told her, you know, I've been filling out this form for a month about trying to get my account back, never heard anything, and um, I still have my other account, am I able to use that, or are you able to get in contact with somebody to help me get through with all the stuff? And so she was like, yeah, you can use your second account, and I'll also push your form in so that they see it. So I was just going to just upload videos on my second account and delete all of my school videos that are on there but then I got an email this morning and it was like your account is back like I was so 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 excited so during the month I, I kinda just didn't want to like I don't know just not do anything so I started a blog um, it's nothing special right now but I do want it to like grow and I want to like post really good content on there so if you want to go look at that it's just um, adorekatieb.com and um, there's also like things that you can buy through the website or through my blog and things like that. And I'm starting a, a page where you can shop my closet. Basically that just means that um, like clothes that I buy, I'll put it back up on my website. So like if you see anything that you like, you can like shop through it. Like you just click the picture and it'll go to where I got it from. Um, but right now I think I only have like one thing on there right now. But... It, I mean, it was just a start, but I want it to be very, very good and have very good content on it. So I just didn't want to really rush anything. So yeah, that's where I've been. But the only thing is, I'm just like really scared that out of nowhere they're just going to take it back away. Like, I don't want to get too attached and then my account get terminated all over again. Because that was honestly the longest process I've ever had to go through. So some things that have happened, um, I finally got my pharmacy technician trainee certificate and license. Basically what that means is I'm able to work in a pharmacy setting. Um, I can't really do all the jobs that a pharmacy technician would do because it's not the actual license, but I can actually get some experience until I take my test um, and I can I start applying for jobs and things like that. But I'm super duper excited about that and then I take my certification test for that like a couple of days after I take my PCAT so that's like so exciting like I'm getting all of my pharmacy stuff done and um, put away and then I can also start applying for pharmacy school in the middle of this month. Well, what's today? Oh, it's not July yet. But in the middle of July I can start applying for pharmacy school. I'm just, the only thing I'm scared about is getting um, enough recommendations because that's just very scary. But 
I really hope I get in. The interview process seems scary too, like, you have like group interviews and things like that, but I hope I do good. And then like health wise, I've been trying, I mean I'm not really going um, vegetarian or vegan, but I'm trying to cut down on my meat intake. Um, that sounded so weird, but yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I like being healthy. Well, I try. But, um, I want to try and do some, like, vegan lifestyles. But, I mean, I guess it's not really vegan because I'm still going to eat just, like, a little bit of meat. Um, like this morning I had, um, shrimp and avocado. But, I, I'm, I'm very into fish. I can eat fish all day long. Like, for Lent, I gave up meat except for fish. And, honestly, I did perfectly fine. I... I mean, I work at a chicken place and I didn't eat chicken for a full Lent period. So I feel like I'll do fine without meat. But I really don't think I'm going to miss it that much. But it's not like I'm giving it up 100% either. And then I also just got my gym membership. So I'm trying to go there probably every single day. And if I have work, then I'm going to try and go... Um, at least before like six o'clock in the morning or something like that I know that's kind of a hard goal to reach but I'm trying um, I don't I feel like my stomach is kind of getting a, just a little bigger and I just want to work on that I don't really want to just get super super skinny though and then as I'm doing these like more healthy things I want to kind of add that to my channel uh, I went to Whole Foods today I was thinking about just doing like a Whole Foods haul and I also wanted to go to Trader Joe's and kind of just do a full, like, uh, Whole Food and Trader Joe's haul thing. But I'll kind of see how I get through the day and maybe I can put up two videos, kind of, to make up for the lost time. But, um, yeah, I want to do, like, more workout videos and more, um, like, what, what I ate today, things like that. I want to incorporate that more into my channel because I want you guys to be involved with me being involved of being more healthy if you know what I mean um the reason why I'm not really like saying what I'm using is because the stuff really hasn't changed um my most recent video is my updated everyday makeup routine so it's pretty much the same thing but this is just kind of for me to kind of catch you guys up on what's been happening and where I've been and things like that not really a makeup tutorial I guess but I will list everything in the drop down bar just in case and I will link my last video with my updated makeup routine. I also found this uh, kombucha tea stuff and I am like in love with this like I took a sip and I was like whoa was not expecting that but it's so good I mean it's not even sweet like the sugars, it only has 5 grams of sugar. Fat, 0%. Sodium, 0%. Total carbs, 2%. Like, this is just, like, a really, really good drink. And I'm, honestly, hands down, it's hard for me to be healthy because I don't like how stuff tastes. Like, if it doesn't taste pleasing to me, then I'm not going to do it. But that tastes very pleasing, and I'm fine with it. So, I may get, like, a big jar of that to try to cut down on my soda because I drink soda 24 7 like I don't even drink water I hate water and I know I'm not to change that too but like I said if it doesn't taste good to me then I just don't drink it or eat it oh I did not mean to do that and then I've also been loving this burnt orange color game face from Colourpop like I mean I think I used it in my updated makeup routine but I'm just saying like I love this stuff like it it's a very good color for women of color and especially if you have darker skin because it looks very bronzy and it's not too glittery not too shimmery so it's not like a lot of stuff on your face Ooh, that wing was like perfect I don't know how that happened but yeah <laughs> that wing was like all right it was okay so I'm not gonna put that much mascara on today because I'm going to attempt to put on false lashes um I really don't like putting on false lashes because I feel like my eyelashes are long enough already and I can't do it. But I recently got these really good lashes by uh, Makeup Forever. They're the 405 N405 Lash Show Natural Impact. And they look so good. Um, you can like look at it on my 
I think I have a picture on my Instagram, self promo. Um, go follow me, underscore, don't call me Caitlin, underscore. And I also have it on my blog post. I took pictures with the lashes. I don't really know if you can tell that much, but I mean, they look very natural. Okay, I did it. Alright, so now I'm going to put some of the mascara on my bottom lashes too. And then I got the freaking glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm so excited. I got sun dipped because I felt like this was like more for like my skin tone color. And it's so pretty. So I've been using bronzed right now and you really only need like a little bit. So beautiful. The Too Faced Melted Matte. And this is in, I think, very red. No, deep, drop, drop dead red. <laughs> so I really just wanted to kind of give y'all like a catch up and where I've been. And also I needed to do my makeup. So I wanted to just kill one bird with two stones. And that is not how the saying goes. Okay, but anyways, so yeah. So that's my explanation. That's where I've been. Sorry it's been a full month, but um, I will go back to posting at least once a week. And yeah, so drop down below what kind of videos you want to see. Um, and I will also link down below my blog and all my social media and my last updated makeup routine so that you can get a more in detail but I'll also put like I said all of the products that I use in the drop down box so see you later